talking to sharpensbest.com down here on the Twin Pine Ranch, uh, north and west of Wheatland, Wyoming, Buffalo, about a 65,000 acre ranch. Jeremy uh, got uh, the uh, prize here in a Buffalo hunt drawing through the Laramie Peak fire zone. Ooh, we're there. We got the uh, buffalo kind of out here on a knob, kind of bunched up like that. Trying to determine which one they're going to shoot. They're looking at them. That's what you're looking for is, is the horns that lay out like that. Right. If you look over to the right, there's a group of three. Mm -hmm. And the third one, it's facing back to the left. It's got its head down grazing. Yeah. That's a bull. You can see where the penis is on it. And by his body size, that'll be a year and a half old. Bunch of heifers to the right. got a good head on him. He's got enough for a robe. He's a year and a half. He's a he's definitely a shooter class. You know, we'll do it. Don't, don't, right. you know, rush it. Because we want you to make a good shot and, right. you know, for the animal and for you. You know, I don't like these people that come out. Well, I had a guy a couple, a couple weeks ago come out and I said, you know, and I always right ask that, people, man. you know, about your shooting, uh, when you shot last, blah, blah, blah. He said, well, I shot it three today? years ago. Yeah. I Knocked said, really? The pickup said, yeah. landed right I said, well, we need to reconfirm re zero. Yeah. So we go out and shoot and he was shooting 16 inches off. Oh and never could get him, you know, uh, to get it to confirm. And so I said, okay, we'll use your buddy's rifle. This is as close as you're going to get to Buffalo. Everything run off, don't right. get out because we got some old cows running. Watch out, what's coming behind you, Brad? He's sneaking up. Yeah, he's. <laughs> 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 
I just had to do that. I know it, I know it. Uh, yeah, but here's, here's a big bull right here in front of yeah. me. See how big he oh, is? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, that. a, that's what I was asking. Yeah. I've seen a couple of those big ones. How old are those ones? About oh, six, they're, they're, they're probably at least eight years old. <laughs> now, see the ones, they don't want to leave, so they're coming back to the herd. They got the herd mentality, and that's what happened to them, you know, when the buffalo hunters used to... Lope. Yeah. You know, because if they come back, we shot one, and this old cow come back late in the afternoon, and she stayed right there at the gut pile. Yeah. Well, this is about a year and a half old bull. That's a nice bull. Got a good bull. Oh yeah. You see all the lung blood. That's all lung. You didn't get fat. Only took uh, about 40 seconds for him to go down. And a leg. <laughs> yeah, just about perfect. You didn't break the shoulder, you didn't get in that shoulder. Good. What we'll do, we'll get him rolled up here. We'll just pull him up, roll him up, and get him set up. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Just like that. Yeah, behind me here, yeah. Oh man, doesn't get any better than this. Sun's warm and the air is cool. Yeah. Right. You just want the liver, Jeremy? I more. Rat, catch! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're nuts! have it back. You want those? Okay. Oh, yeah. Yep. Jerry <laughs> says, stop playing with my food. <laughs> oh, they're good. I had to get a little bit of 
Yeah. Feel that. That's called coal fat, and it feels watery instead of greasy. That's what the Native Americans used to make their pemmican out of. They would mix that in with their berries, rose hips, and, and different things. And uh, weird. And that'll dry. It won't turn rancid. Now, what is pemmican? You said they made pemmican it's out of a, it. It's a dried meat. Uh, with berries and then the fat mixed in with a high energy, high protein, uh, like a uh, meat and energy bar. Uh -huh. right? You know, it, it was originally an energy bar. Right. That's what it was. And then they, they would use that, and, and it had a lot of energy and protein in it. But they could actually dry that. That'll dry like powder. If you, if you set this out for very long, It'll actually start drying before we get done taking care of the animal. Huh. Some people save the, the penis and you can take it and stick a wire down through it, especially on the bigger bowls, mm -hmm. and then it'll take and, and harden up and they make walking sticks out of them. Oh, jeez. Really? It, it dries just like fiberglass. Just Hard. Man, look at the size of that tube. Yeah. Well, yeah, when they wait. run, they're sucking in about, I don't know, 50, 60 oh, yeah. cubic feet of CFM. Well, I don't CFM. Doubt that. I just, Yeah. I don't think it's Didn't think it'd be that big. It's just amazing. I mean, I'm used to seeing deer and stuff all the time, but nothing to this. Yeah, you know, this that size, wise. yeah. I'll get that for you. Okay. Crawl right in there, Brad. I'll help I you. I get my foot in your butt. <laughs> Yeah, you can see that stuff's already starting to dry. Yeah. Wow. And some people take it home. They'll make they put it around roasts and different things. And Man, there's just no sticky or. No, it don't feel greasy at all. No. It's more watery. That's why it don't turn rancid, you know. Yeah. A lot of good meat right there. Oh yeah. I love liver. Liver and onions. Potatoes. Yeah. Fried potatoes, liver and onions. Look how fat that is. <laughs> yeah, especially by a truck instead of a buffalo. Exactly. Hey, he got killed on a buffalo hunt. Buffalo get him? No, they ain't run over him by the truck. Right now they're going after the liver. So they're going to save the heart and the liver and the tongue.
have to add a little bit of onions to that. Yeah. And for you people who believe in evolution, I'm Brad Buckner, and I believe in God, and I believe in creation, intelligent creation. And you know what? If you think evolution put together a system like this, probably one of the most complex systems that a human being could ever find, probably need to think again. Take care of it better. Yeah, they got the ice, and you want to. Well, now you've been on a buffalo hunt. This is Brad Buckner, SharpensBest.com, off on another little adventure. We take you here, we take you there. Do all kinds of things. It is hunting season. It's always buffalo season. Take care, have a good day.